So the URL part of the data tab lets you specify the URL for this page. So if we open it up here, we can see that we have on the left this path. And at the top, we can see what the actual URL would look like. Um, and right now, we have a path that starts just being um, with being about page. That is because it picks the name of the component we, we, we created earlier. So let's go and change that in this case to about. So now this page will be available on yourproject.toddle.site slash about. And we can add more segments to this path. So we could add, in this case, one called name, and then this will be on slash about slash name. Um, in addition, we can also choose that one of these parameters should be, or one of these segments should be a parameter. And that means that it's not going to be match the exact uh, word name, but any sort of value can be put in here. Let's put in a test value on Andreas. And again, just like with attributes, test values are used when we're testing or building this uh, component. So because we specified name as a parameter, this is now available inside our page to be used as data. So we can go and pick this uh, paragraph here. Um, and we can go and say, instead of using a static value, we're actually going to pick out the name from URL parameters here. And so this way, and, and this is available anywhere inside the page, so we can go and say this data that came as part of the URL, we, that's now available inside the component, or inside the page in this case. Um, we also have queries here on the right, and a query param is also part of a URL, but where the path specifies that is used in routing as to which page is going to be shown. So this page will only be shown if the URL matches this sort of pattern of slash about and then slash some other value. Queries, on the other hand, are added at the end and they're entirely optional. So in this case, we could use email. Um, and this would then be an optional extra parameter that's being set. And again, we added a test value here, which is my email. And we can then go and let's copy this um, paragraph here. And then we'll change this one, the second one, to be our email. So this is how you can specify data that's part of the URL. So that means if you're sharing a link with other people for this page, you can share it with all this extra data that's then available whenever you build whatever you build inside that page.